Welcome to Big Happy. Party like a celeb with Iceland. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. The phone lines are now closed, please don't call, your vote won't be counted, but you still, may still be charged. Hey, and uh, happy birthday, Anne. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, eh? It is. In Australia, we've got a good day lined up for you, me and all the lads. What, what, what's well, the we crack? we could hang around here, uh -huh. do a bush tucker trial, <laughs> yeah. and go and watch the rain, uh -huh. and then go to bed about 6pm, ready to do it all again tomorrow. Sounds brilliant, Anne. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know how to look after me. Uh, tell you what, something time for another treat that uh, Anne here in particular loves watching every year, gets very excited about it, always bangs on about it for hours afterwards. Huh? Something you like watching? Australian Dean on audio. <laughs> no, the celebrity chest. Oh, no, no, you are <laughs> Well, it's the first one of the series, and it's a head-to-head -head between the two camps, and they're battling out for a chance to win a treat, and they were Martina and Carly. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, good. After I left camp, I knew I had to just hike up. It was a longer hike than I thought. And then I smelled this smell. I'm like, God, they must have a human waste disposal unit. But no, the smell was coming from where we were diving into, the swamp. Lovely. <laughs> what did we get ourselves into, eh? When I saw Martina, I just thought, you know, she's a top athlete. And I thought, oh, shit, really. <laughs> You're about to compete in spawn again. <laughs> Celebrities must race through the swamp collect a spawn ball and throw it into the catcher to release the fluid. And avoid the spikes. The first celebrity to release enough liquid to float the key to the top may unlock the chest and return to Camp Victoria. Being one of the greatest athletes of all time, I feel, okay, I mean, she's got 25 years on me, but I got a little more experience. Ah! I was just so focused and the adrenaline kicked in, I wanted to win. Balls are actually a lot heavier than I thought. I couldn't get it up high enough. So once I threw the first ball and it slipped out of my hand, I'm like, okay, I needed to really get underneath it so it doesn't go off to the side. I'm a good goal shooter in netball anyway. For me, it was a lot better to just get the power and to get the fling. When I got the first one in, I thought, yeah, go, girl. Oh, good shot. Halfway through, Martina's key was raised a fair bit above mine. I thought, oh my god. <laughs> so I thought, you better back your ideas up. Got the key! Yeah! Martina's gonna be happy. God, that oh thing you were right, that is what thing. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I need a shower. Can't wait to get in the camp and get in the swimming pool. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, for me, it's like, okay, uh, it's about ego, of course, but most of all, I want to I wanna get a treat for the team, so it's, it's a great feeling. Really disappointed, because this is the second sort of path I've lost now. My mind's thinking, how am I going to tell the camp, and are they going to be, think they've got a weak person in the team? So, advantage, now right over. Good one. If there's one thing the greatest tennis player of all time knows, it's how to win. And if there's one thing the rest of them know, it's how to gossip. I'm really interested now to getting on over there in the other camp. Who like, do you think is going to be the hardest at that group when they come over? Simon's lovely. I can't, he won't be a problem to anyone. If Robert Kilroy is, um... No, he's very, he's very, he's very, he's very sure of himself. Like, he knows, yeah, yeah, he's very confident. He knows what he is and... and he's very confident. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking him and Brian might clash, because they yeah. both want to be the alpha male in the camp, don't they? Martina's coming back. Well, I need help! Can I help with Joe? Oh, well, look, she's got something. She stinks! Martina stinks! I oh, wow. stink! Oh, I stink! Happy back. I'm going to kiss you, stinky up, and all. I didn't know, that's what I was in the pool. Like a tank, like a material. I thought it was, what? Hi, oh, babe. I bloody didn't get it. You didn't get it? Oh, bless her. I'm Did so pleased to see you, I was oh. so concerned. Was it horrible? I'm freezing and I think I have a sniff of them. Oh, no, they. Congratulations on winning the first head-to-head -head celebrity chess. 
you have won a visit to the other camp for one of your team. Inside compartment A is a gift. You may share it with the other team if you wish. Well, we know they've won dinner tonight. So we don't have to do that, Jerry. Let's, let's go. Hot chocolate and milk from Holly and Fern. Yeah! Oh, I'd like to get out of camp. Oh, good. No, you, ain't been there. you ain't been there, that's fair. I think he's got itchy feet now. I think Brian really wants to get out of camp and um, go and do something. Oh, Brian and Kewl work, that's nice, mate. Head I think, real I think he's gonna. I think they're going to bump heads, those two. I've never met Robert before. Obviously, I've seen his TV show. The first impressions oh, weren't too good at the hotel. See you later. But that might just be, you know, uh, a, a one-off bad experience. So it'll be good to uh, maybe have a bit of a chat with Robert and see uh, see how he's getting on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, hello. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Are you coming to join us? I'm afraid not. It's just a very short visit. John. Hello. Part of the prize this afternoon was allowing one of us to come and visit your camp. Oh, oh come on. Honestly. No, oh, yeah. And for what reason? Start off. <laughs> Go on. Way. You could really? be close. Yes, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I have hey, no, to be close. What else would they want to visit our camp Would you like some hot water? It's to see how awful we're living. So we could go back and tell them. She said he'd come as a treat. And that suggested to me the treat was to kind of come and see how bad our conditions were and to have a quiet giggle on the site. What's the camp night? Is it, much, is it really good? Well, last night I was going to sleep on the floor because my bed is so uncomfortable. Really? Honestly, so I put my. Oh, would you want to swap? <laughs> We're on the my floor. Mattress on the floor. Right. And just, and just, 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 just to go back on where I responded to you. Yeah. Tell me truthfully, if sending somebody down to, as a tree to look to, to, to see us is to say, Christ, what well, there, a mess. There are two, the or, or is it because you were asking about there, it? There are, there are two ways of looking at it. One, one way is the negative way to say, oh, it's just a gloat. You know, and somebody could have come from, the, from, from, from our camp and said, oh, well, you know, you know you're, you're in a terrible state compared with us. Yeah. But, but me, every time I've been in there, I have said, I'm really worried about what the other team, honestly. honestly I mean, it was almost like this kind of man on a white horse suddenly appeared. You almost expected him to be full of some kind of bounteous goods. Why didn't he bring a present? And everybody gets on very well, I imagine, because it's just a fabulous group of people. Well, we like sailing to America, obviously, I've got to say, you know, it won't be long before we're all together. I don't think. Yeah. And then we'll hate each other. We've got the lessons to three uh, no, Brian didn't entirely convince me, but I accept his word. I didn't feel convinced, but I, uh, he, said, he said that was the purpose of his uh, visitation, and so I accept that. When you said you've been asking about yeah. it, and that was your treat, that puts a totally different complexion on it, obviously. Yeah, and if that's the case, then I apologise. Oh my God, and the amount of food I throw at my house because it's sits in the fridge and goes off. What we could do with that food right now. <laughs> So it's quite small. Smaller than this. Yeah. But the first thing to happen was I got attacked verbally by Robert. I know, what was he attacking you for? What did you do? Uh, uh, you just come here to gloat. Get out. Oh, oh my he goodness. He's a dickhead, you know that. <laughs> That's not nice. That's the first thing he said. Dickhead. Brian said that Kill had a little pop at him today, which I think is a bit out of order, you know. But I don't think that was that was on for him to do that. I think Brian was a little bit upset and a bit taken back by that. What a what a jerk! Mm. I mean, can you imagine if one of them would come in here and we go, "Oh, get out of here!" You know. I'm, I'm, you know. We don't have any for you. I'm a bit, I'm a bit smug about it, but. That's exactly what I thought I would find when I got there. This is exactly That's what, what I we found. said to him. We said he would give you an hard time. We said as well, I reckon he's going to give you a hard time. Mm. He's going to feel intimidated by you. Yeah. He's probably gay. He can't work on his suntan. Doing beat by gay guys, <laughs> isn't it?